How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy Serrano. Today, I wanted to welcome everybody who is new into my channel. And then I want to also give a big shout out to those who were already subscribed to my channel. Um, thank you for actually taking the time out of your day to come back to the channel so you could check out more content to help your Android device um, become even better than it was before. Today I have an app which will actually increase the productivity of your phone and it will allow you to do more on your screen. You'll be able to do um, take advantage of one or two or three or four different, even five um, things multitasking um, on your device at one time. So stay tuned uh, for the next phase of this video. A lot of the times what it is is that when we're doing different things on our screen at one time, what it is is that you actually have to close out um, one of the windows and then go to another window to actually take advantage of the luxury and the um, performance of the phone. You, you, uh, you're limited to just one screen here. Um, but I have an app here today called Floating Apps Multitasking, which gives you at least four to five to six, um, even seven different apps that you'll be able to actually take advantage of on one screen. I want to welcome you to Floating Apps. It's a powerful multitasking um, feature here in the form of an app, which gives you some amazing features. Um, you'll be able to configure everything and access anywhere um, simply with one toggle feature at the top left hand top corner of the screen. Um, it's going to increase your productivity and it's going to actually give you frequent updates and you'll be actually able to unleash the potential, the full potential of your Android device. Let me show you exactly what I mean and stay tuned for the part two phase of this video. A lot of the times what it is is uh, I'll be browsing YouTube and um, I'll click on a video and um, I'll actually start listening to it. Um, one of the things that actually happens is that when I'm, that video is playing, I'll get information that I actually want to um, take a look at. So um, I'll be watching the video and I actually want to look something up. Well, that's when I would go to the top left toggle and swipe um, to the right side from the left top corner. Then I would actually go into the catalog right here of apps that it does have to offer me. So while the content is playing in the background, um, as such, we'll go ahead and click that play button and it'll actually play the content. Then um, what if I wanted to search for the ZTE Z Max um, phone here? I would just go into the top um, toggle feature right there and I could actually type in google.com. Once I'm in Google, I'll go ahead and type ZTE um, Blade or M M Max. And it'll actually take me to the information I'm looking for without even leaving the designated um, window that I'm in. And what I'll actually be able to do is um, customize um, the, the proportions um, to my preference right here. So I could actually take the window and based on the proportions that are, um, based on my needs, I could actually adjust the proportions here on the bottom toggle window and actually still be able to listen to the content that I have playing inside of the background. 
It doesn't matter how many windows you have open, as you could see, I could still have access to my dialer. Right here, if I wanted to make a phone call, I could be in the multi-window and do that. And I could click that square right there to minimize it, and it would actually bring it right here to the top corner. And to click it again, that's how you'd have access to it. And you could exit out of there if you wanted to as well. And this is called the active window. As you could see, when you're not in the window, it'll actually turn the window to a translucent color. And the app is very smooth and easy to use. It also gives you the top toggle features here on the left hand top corner of it. If you wanted to actually fill the back screen, you could either minimize or um, maximize the borders here. So what it is, is that you could actually watch videos in the background, even on the multitasking window with YouTube. And um, it actually keeps it right there in the top toggle. And then you could go right over top of it with another window and still be able to manipulate the video. And you also have Facebook open right here. And I could easily um, manipulate the screen to my liking and put it down in the bottom corner and I still have the addition in addition to that I still have the ability to open up even more apps here um, I could look at documents I could open up my contacts I have a browser I have this active window tells me what um, windows are all, all open and being used at the current moment and if I wanted to get out of one I could Simply press the X right there to eliminate any um, applications that I did not want to use. The floating window also gives you the ability to create widgets. You go to the top toggle shortcut feature, go to the applications button, click settings, and from there swipe across to the left. Um, not this one, let me see. We'll actually um, swipe down this, this bottom feature right there when you swipe it out from the settings menu. <clears throat> you're gonna get um, my apps you could actually go here and you could actually create um, your first app or your first widget cancel and um, I'll create a widget just to show you how it works let's do maybe we'll do um, a shortcut for the wonder list save and there we have a floating app f for now for the wonder list so now when we go to the my apps applications it should be here and as it as I just made it now I have the ability to actually look at my um, wonder list here In that settings menu, you could also click this gear button to the designated app you want to choose, and you could actually change the icon color, do a show a quick launch, show in notification bar, or show in app drawer, or add shortcut to home screen. You could also show in the floating menu, um, and here you, when you click that, it gives you the ability to change the icon color here and it, you, should, you could see it actually changed it to the green color so if you don't see the app that you want to choose in the designated window go across the, the screen to the right hand side go to my apps and simply create the app that isn't designated inside already you will actually have the ability to create the widget inside of here and then have the ability to actually use it right here
It also has translate built right inside of it, so you could easily open up that window. Um, and it'll actually give you the ability to um, translate to your liking. Here you could change the language um, to your liking, and then you could also have it be auto-detected by whatever you type inside of there. What's also worth mentioning is the Google, uh, the mini games that are actually built inside of it. Um, so I have here a game that I could actually uh, take advantage of for free here inside it, this app. And it, it gives me um, the ability to actually get a, a score here, and it, it records it, and it's, it's recording my points as I'm playing. We also get this numbers game right here, which I'm not really sure how to play. Um... But you could pretty much try to figure it out on your own. And um, you have help here. It says, swipe your left finger. Swipe your finger left and right, top and bottom to move the numbers. Um, join the, the same numbers and get the, um, the 2048 ti title. So... Um, It also has an image viewer where you could actually open up images here when you go inside of here and you select um, what, what picture you want to choose. And you can actually manipulate the, the, the screen to your liking. So actually go into the Google Play Store and um, go to the top toggle type menu and type in the floating apps right there. When you click search, you're going to get um, the free um, floating app one and you're going to get the paid for floating apps. Uh, I would highly recommend the paid for um, floating app. And um, I could actually show you how to get it for free. But this is the one that would actually, um, it doesn't give you the full capabilities. So you actually want to go to the one that um, asks you to purchase it because it's going to give you more features. But if you want to find how, how to download this for free, um, type down in that comment section down below. So why not use floating apps and have the ability to actually um, take advantage of um, all of the features that it does have to offer you? Um, you'll be able to take advantage of some really cool features here that are actually um, built inside of it.
So why not take a vil ability, the ability out of it and um, utilize all the feature that features that it does have to offer you? Um, usually I could actually do my Facebook while actually doing my banking and watching my media. So um, go ahead and like this video if you found it helpful because you'll be able to take advantage of all the features that it does have to offer you. I thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Serrano. Don't forget to like this video and make a comment down below if you found it helpful. If you've seen or heard anything that came to use in this video, go ahead and I'll check you out on the next video after you subscribe. It's your boy Serrano and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Peace.